Hi, uh, in this video I will sh show you how to get copy and paste working on the tablet. So the lack of copy and paste has been one of the oldest complaints people have had for the Nook tablet. And uh, in this video uh, I've, I will show you a very simple way of getting it to work. So th this, will allow, this will require to download two files. Um, you can find the link below this video. In this case I've already downloaded them to the SD card in my tablet. And so I'll just browse to them. Um, so as you can see here, these are the two files. Um, there's a file called framework.jar.new, and the other is uim-sysfs. Uh, to actually use this hack, you will be you will need a uh, file manager, or you can use ADB. But you, but if you're using the tablet itself, you will need a file manager that's able to write uh, to the root file system. And so uh, in this case, I'm using ES File Explorer, and you have to enable the uh, up to root and root explorer. So of course this requires you to have a rooted tablet. Um, and yeah, you should enable mount file system and uh, a root explorer. So I have done that. And now uh, first we start by copying uh, framework.jar.new to the folder slash system. slash framework. It will be copied. The next thing we need to do is to copy uim-sysfs to the folder slash system slash bin. Slash system slash bin. All right. Now um, we actually want to go to slash system slash bin. Uh, find the you, the file I just copied over uim sysfs. Okay, long press on it. Select properties and change its uh, change its uh, its permissions to allow execute. Okay, so. It should you should check the uh, the three boxes next to execute. Um, does, they don't show well in the video, but there you go. Okay. Now, when you've changed that, hit OK. Hit OK again. And now, as, um, if you look at the little uh, the little string down here next to sys sysfs, you should see rwx r w oops rwx r dash x dash x. So this sets the file to be executable. Now we power off the tablet. Power it on again. What this hack does is um, it actually replaces a uh, the the system file slash system slash framework slash framework dot jar with my custom framework dot jar dot new which uh, has copy and paste enabled. So the second time you boot up uh, you may encounter a number of force closes. We'll see whether we get that in a minute. Okay. Restore again. You should get a bunch of force closes. Uh, so these are all force close dialogues. Various things uh, stop working. Um, but this is normal. So ignore these guys. Okay. Uh, but don't turn off your tablet straight away. Give it about a minute. Okay. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Although this is normal, you don't have to actually interact with them. Just wait about a minute. Okay, it's about time. Turn off the tablet again. And turn it back on. Wait, so uh, when the system starts back up again, um, copy and paste should now be fully functional. So, for instance, uh, 
open up Gmail, compose. If I long press on the text field, I should get a familiar uh, uh, Android editing uh, t editing uh, menu. So if I, for instance, type uh, some text in here. Um, I should be able to select text by double clicking, and if I have text selected in the long press, I should have the familiar uh, text editing menu. If I long press on another text field, I can paste, uh, of course. So, and this works in all applications. Um, so, for instance, I can go to uh, talk and able to select copy and paste so all right have fun